For this moment, they walk together, remembering at ground zero. This day, even the home pages on their website spoke to country, not party. It's different other days between this longtime opponent of the Iraq war. What President Bush and Senator McCain don't understand is that the central front in the war on terror is not in Iraq, and it never was. The central front is in Afghanistan and Pakistan, where the terrorists who hit us on 9-11 are still plotting attacks. And this longtime supporter. My Democrat opponents who want to pull out of Iraq refuse to understand what's being said and what's happening, and that is the central battleground is Iraq in this struggle against radical Islamic extremism. They disagree on the past, whether the war was necessary, whether more troops should have been sent, the so-called surge. But moving forward, they are moving closer. The situation in Iraq has improved, and both now talk about troop withdrawal. Obama says he'd pull them out by 2010. McCain rejects firm timetables, but not the possibilities. I think it's a pretty good timetable, as we should, uh, horizons for withdrawal. But they have to be based on conditions on the ground. This success is very fragile. It's incredibly impressive, but very fragile. And in fact, Obama's withdrawal timetable leaves room Thank for a change so of plans. And yes, we will make tactical adjustments as we implement this strategy. That is what any responsible commander-in-chief must do. As I have consistently said, I will consult with commanders on the ground and the Iraqi government. And now with the situation in Afghanistan growing worse, McCain and Obama both want more troops there. 10,000 more, says Obama, who would use U.S. troops rotated out of Iraq. McCain would double the size of the Afghan army and pressure NATO into sending more forces. He would send U.S. troops if needed when available. Both say they will improve U.S. diplomatic efforts, but Obama says he is willing to sit down with rogue leaders of countries like North Korea and Iran. The notion that somehow not talking to countries uh, is punishment to them, uh, which has been the guiding uh, diplomatic principle of this administration, is ridiculous. It is a statement that has allowed McCain to play his trump card, his own lengthy resume. Senator Obama was wrong about Iran, he was wrong about Iraq, and he has no experience, and more importantly, he lacks the judgment to lead this country. Homeland Security and foreign policy experts say they're frustrated by the lack of details in both campaigns, perhaps because voter attention is elsewhere. On the day of 9-11, a new CNN Opinion Research Corporation polls that only about one in ten Americans say that terrorism is the most important issue to their vote for president. Candy Crowley, CNN, New York.